I chose to serve in City Year because I wanted to give something bigger than myself to my community. I know I could be the mentor, uh, either that's mentoring educationally, mentally, emotionally, because that's exactly what I had growing up in my middle school. It has helped me a lot, so I know I could give that same energy back. I don't even think he was in my classroom. I think he was just, I had a program called AfterZone. Small moments, but they were the right moments. It didn't stop him from helping me out, even though I was this bad kid. It's the wrong person would have just give up on me. He didn't know what I had going on at home, but what he did was enough for me. I wouldn't be the person I am today. Thank you, Chen. Who would have knew at one point in time I'd be wearing the same thing you wore? <laughs> City Year has been possibly the single most impactful experience of my personal and professional career. I think sometimes the universe has a way of telling you what you need rather than what you want. I became much more focused on what do the kids need from me. Don't think I could have ever imagined this moment. Eric's wearing that red jacket that I wore, you know, more than 10 years ago now. It's just an incredible feeling. Sometimes the days go by and it's hard to really see the impacts you have. I hope that City Year continues to be an inspiration in, in other people's lives, like it has continued for Eric. Being able to have that human connection was the most valuable and most meaningful thing that happened during my time with City Year. I'm so proud. I appreciate the hard work you put into me. If I'm the person that I am today, imagine who these people are gonna be when they grow up. She's one now, yeah. She's uh... Oh my goodness. <laughs>